is nearest to us. She's flying down to join them now as they come to the furlong pole. One master, Lord Glitters, beat the bank. Le Bravido, that is the quartet, will fight it out. Beat the bank and the grey, Lord Glitters. Lord Glitters was runner-up 12 months ago, and I think he's just won this tour to beat the bank. I think he's too far away right from him, and um, that's the best way he needs to be ridden. You know, you need to look on this horse. And we definitely got it today. Deep inside the last hole, and they come. Red Gilsman is bursting through the Clarence Hilton. Arizona on the far side. Arizona knows him ahead. It's going to be a nice commentary take for Aiden O'Brien. He done well today. He's still learning, and um, I thought he was impressed at the end of the race. And doing more to come. He's smart dog. Head towards the line. Blue point in front. Bashar's nearest to us, trying to get to him, but it's the same as last year. Blue point. From Batash, Matt Cross and Soldier's Point, very tight third and fourth. It couldn't have gone much smoother, the race, to be honest. It just shows what a classy sprinter he is on, on ground. That's probably on faster ground he, 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 he would prefer, in my opinion. Two Don Hawk came upside Circus Maximus, but he couldn't quite get past, finishing off strongly King of Comedy, but Circus Maximus held on to win the St. James's Palace stage from King of Comedy. And we really pitched him in, and it was a bit... Like it was really a bit unfair to him, really, what we asked him to do, but uh, he produced, and Ryan gave him a great ride. Top weight in front, Bill me up, but it cuts a half length line in second place, but the Grand Vizier's held her, and the Grand Vizier and Richard King's go to one, the Bill me up, but come time to study from Mark Kurt de Leon. A royal winner can um, make a good year or a bad year, you know, it's that important. So, um, you know, very pleased to get another one on the board. Opening up by three, four, five left, and a day with any amount in hand, very close for second between Magic Wand in the centre, La Trobe up the inner and Ella Cam out wide and the first ball came clear of Mountain Angel. Uh, he's in a different league, this fella, in this grid. I was travelling well, had so much horse and, you know, it was just a matter of when, really. They're off for the Queen Mary stage. Kimari in the green jacket being strongly pressed by Raffle Prize. There isn't going to be much in this. Raffle Prize on the near side of Kimari. Raffle Prize and Kimari in a tight finish to the Queen Mary. I read the winner, yes. She jumped good. I know my run over six, so I took him on nice and early. Made a, a true test of stamina and he had to give in sooner or later. In the last 50 yards, when I saw his, his try shortening, I knew I had him. Dashing Willoughby, who has the advantage, but on the far side, Barbados, the blue and orange coming back to him, but Dashing Willoughby won the Queen's Fars. This is a culmination of everybody's hard work at home. Andrew thrives on trying to do well at this meeting, as do every jockey riding, and um, I was very fortunate to ride a horse that was capable of winning today. And uh, they're off. They've gone over two lengths clear from Hunting Horn. Crystal Ocean in front, passing the furlong. Magical has got within a length. Can she get past Crystal Ocean? Edging right, leaning off a true line. Magical is continuing to fester, but Crystal Ocean is doing enough and takes the Prince of Wales who stakes under Frankie. Oh, it was great. Uh, he's ultra consistent horse. He's an heavyweight of the sport. He never runs a bad race. I was concerned about the rain because all his best form is on firm. And the race went exactly like I thought. I thought I better kick around the turn and use my stamina. And uh, in fairness, he took his head out and he galloped right to the line. Zero. A mile is the trip here for the Duke of Cambridge Stakes. Four of them settled down to fight this out. The noseband have moved swiftly. Raw to the red and white. I can fly the purple and white jacket. Moves swiftly. Danny Todd home nearest to us. Frankie Dettori, the pursuer on Rorda. It is move swiftly. Well, um, no, we're having a great week and I'm riding for good people. We thought she might run well because <clears throat> she's been working nicely and the ground came in her favour or came against our other one, who we also liked, but she didn't run a race at all. The Royal Hunt Cup, they jump out over the straight mile. 
Cron Cooley is throwing down a strong challenge. A far Cron Cooley is bearing down on him. It's desperately close. Nothing in it. Cron Cooley and a far have gone past together in the Hunt Cup. You know, Charlie's done a great job with this horse because, you know, it, this has been his target, but it looked like he wasn't going to get here. And um, regards to the race, we, we got a nice toe. He jumped a bit fresh, and I was, I was happy to keep him way isolated for a furlong just to get him to relax. And then it went like clockwork, really, after that. They're off. So he raced with five furlongs in front of them. As they come to the line, Southern Hills has won. He's a he's, um, real nice colt. He's run two very good races. And um, he showed loads of speed. And I thought he had a super attitude. He, he, um, you know, he was there early enough, but he wasn't for passing. Unbelievable, yes, he travelled like uh, it was a winner all the way. Uh, pulled out quick and, and uh, he made my life really easy anyway. And they're off. Fox Chairman is running on well, but now Sangari is taking off up to the line. It's Frankie again at Royal Ascot and Sangari wins the Hampton Court. I had half a split and I took it as a very brave horse. He's very big, you know. He made himself plenty of room and, uh, why? Well, didn't he have quicken, you know, for the big horse. So uh, it was a great performance. They race towards the line. Starcatcher in is a hat trick for Frankie. Starcatcher has won. It's mad, isn't it? Even I, I thought, this, this is can happen. <laughs> the last time I was I thought, somebody's going to come and beat, I'm sure. And then when I crossed the line, I thought, my God. Away for the 2019 Gold Cup. Capri is holding Stradivarius in. The gap is appearing now. Master Reality is rallying gamely. Stradivarius wins again. Two Gold Cups. He's an amazing horse. He's got a heart bigger than his yeah. body, and uh, he's great for the public. Everybody's latched onto him, and everybody loves him, including me. At the foul on Barlow and Frankie leading by two lengths. Biometric in second place to Pink Cab, and Harry Bagley's coming to get him. Turgenev in front, Biometric gaining with every stride. Biometric has won the Britannia. I've been waiting for it for a long time. I've had uh, quite a few rides here over the years now, so uh, so good to get on the board. As I say, it's so, so special and uh, Dayway won't forget. Constantinople gets past Majestic Dawn, out wide Almania. Here's South Pacific in the white cap, out very wide. Battling it out with stable companion Constantinople and South Pacific is coming home. The better and edges ahead. They're lovely horses. They're all big, big, fine horses and, and uh, just starting to progress. Uh, Ryan's horse obviously was a group winner. His last start, he was second. Uh, Seamus' horse was very well in. He had a nice draw. Uh, he had a lovely mark. And uh, Wayne's horse was the same. Wayne's horse was drawn out, but yeah. was enough a nice mark. They're big horses and hopefully they will progress um, as, as the year goes on. Uh, so I'm delighted, really. in the hands of David Egan to win the Albany. Big step in my career. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone who's helped me to this point. I'm actually a bit emotional. I don't normally yeah, get like no, this. No, so you yeah. should be. This is a wonder. It's what everyone gears up for. Yeah, so. everyone. That's what I've worked hard for my whole life, and it's great to get these big days. It's the Derby third Japan in the hands of Ryan Moore, clear of Bangkok, a class apart in the King Edward the seventh. Uh, he did a lovely run. Um, in the derby, lovely run to Dante before it. Um, no, he's a lovely horse. Yeah. What would you think about the future with him? I think he's a lot of options. He can go to Paris for the Grand Prix to Paris, or he can come back here for the King George. You know, so he's a lot of options. He's a lovely horse, and you know, he's, he's a horse really to look forward to. It's Frankie de Tory again at Royal Ascot. This time, it's on advertise in the Commonwealth Cup. He ran a stinker in the Guineas, and uh, he came here with a. No, we were hoping, we weren't so sure if uh, we were out of the woods and uh, he put on a tremendous performance. Uh, I was always in control and uh, travelled like the winner and when I kicked he went, it was brilliant, back to his best. And 
and they're off in the coronation stakes. And it's Watch Me in front as they run close home in the coronation. Watch Me as one for Francis Henri Graffard and Pierre Charles Boudot. Thanks be Magnetic Charm as they race to the line, and thanks be Denies Magnetic Charm. Hayley, you've beaten a 32-year record that Gay Kellaway has held. What does it mean to you? Quite a lot, because although we all love Royal Ascot, we have to listen to Gay every year. <laughs> but no, well, well done to her, because you know it's a great achievement, and um, it's nice to have that goal to aim for as well. And hopefully now the standard of girls has risen so much um, that they'll, they'll just keep coming and coming now. What Haley has done for this sport uh, is phenomenal. She is the best female jockey that's ever ridden, uh, and you know she. She, she rode her beautifully, rode her beautifully. It's bagged out in front and Ryan Moore has seen off Corgi. Ben Brecky is the closer as they run to the line. Bagged out and Ben Brecky, bagged out. Yeah, it went well for him. He's, um, look, he won here last year, he's a smart horse. And um, it's a good performance getting back here and uh, he's lucky enough to ride him today. Tuvo preserving his unbeaten record and is going to be a resounding winner of the Cheshire Stakes. Delighted with him. Uh, it was just a case of keeping the lid on him through the early part of the race. Obviously, he was quite experienced. Uh, Epsom brings him on a hell of a lot. So, yeah, he, he hit the lids well and I just had to hang on to him, save that energy. And once we got a bit of room, he, he quickened up very well late on and put it to bed nicely. Space Traveller on the far side, Space Blues on the near side, neck and neck, Space Traveller. Space Traveller beats Space Blues. Take nothing away from this horse. He's, um, he's got a tremendous amount of ability and he's been consistent without winning. I think he's a bit tricky to win with, but um, as long as he does it at these you know, meters, it's fine. It is Defoe that leads the way here. Nagano Gold is running a tremendous race under Christophe Soumillon. Defoe is just in front though, and Defoe wins the Hardwick. He's actually a dream horse to ride as, as a jockey, really. He's very cool beforehand, and even in the race, he's very straightforward. He jumped, he traveled well. We didn't go very quick. Um, and it's turned into a straight mass that came to me fairly easy, but to be fair to my horse, he, he picked up nicely and he put all the way to the line, you know. Blue Point strikes the front again at Royal Ascot. Blue Point all out. Dream of dreams is thrusting. Blue Point near side. Blue Point. It's pretty special, isn't it? Obviously, it, we, we did what's pretty much nearly impossible. And full credit to Charlie and all his team and, and the horse. You know, that he, what an amazing athlete he really is. I was trying to restrain Blue Point. As we all know, he's quite a free going horse. And he just tried to chase him down a little bit earlier than ideal. Um, when a horse is so willing like that, it's hard to disappoint them. So um, that we were fully relieved that he, he kept his head in front. And yeah, just what, what a champion he really is.